CNN invited on Jill Stein to talk policy, uh, which is actually totally unexpected and very commendable of them. Let's see how that went. Are you the Bernie Sanders of the Green Party? Um, I think you could say the Green Party itself is Bernie Sanders. I'm not unique in the Green Party. I think what's different between Bernie Sanders and myself, or the biggest difference really, is that he was trying to have a revolutionary campaign in a counter-revolutionary party. I'm basically uh, inside of a revolutionary party that supports this agenda and is not working like the Democratic Party to basically uh, bury that agenda. One of the things that Bernie Sanders' critics hit him for was how. How do you pay for these things? How do you offer free college tuition and erase all of the debt that students have racked up? Somebody has to pay for that. Well, it's actually pretty simple. You may recall that we bailed out the bankers, actually to the tune of about $16 trillion if you include all the free loans. But it was about four or five trillion dollars worth of quantitative easing, which as you may know, you know, it's kind of a magic trick. That's really all you need to know about it. But basically, it's an expansion of the money supply. It doesn't actually cost taxpayers anything. So if we bailed out the guys who crashed the economy through their waste, fraud, and abuse, it's certainly time that we need to bail out our younger generation, who we rely on to really lead the way forward into the economy of the future. And in terms of the cost of public higher education, it's really important to remember it pays for itself. We were counting very carefully when we used the uh, GI uh, bill to pay for free college for returning soldiers. And what we found after World War II, for every dollar that we taxpayers put into that, we got back seven dollars in return in revenues and benefits. So it's actually a very good investment for all of us. Jill, that was a wonderful appearance. Uh, we'd now like you to exit stage left and never come back. That's there's a good chance that's how CNN responds to this. Why? Because they brought somebody in and she had some facts with her, and the hosts were like, "Yeah, mm, mm. yeah, I don't have a response to that, dude. Don't bring stale right wing idiotic talking points to a conversation with Jill Stein. Just don't do it. Why? Why would you do that? You know, how How do you pay for all this stuff? All the free stuff the kids want." It's like unicorns and fairy dust and whatnot. No, that's like, like, that's the go-to thing that political know-nothings say. I can't tell you how many right-wing pricks on Twitter try to respond to, like, my pinned tweet is something along those lines. Like, oh, you, it's the radical is you if you think universal health care or living wage, uh, universal college is too much to ask for. And all the time, like, at least, at least once every two or three days, Look at that! Liberals want all the free stuff! <laughs> we can't afford that! Who's gonna pay for that? Nobody can pay for that! <laughs> Idiots! Idiots! No, look at the facts, look at the data. Jill Stein's laying it out for you there. I mean, we spent tr trillions, trillions with a T! We spent trillions to bail out the jackasses on Wall Street who crashed the economy. I mean, these guys made the decisions that bankrupted their companies and crashed the economy. We bailed them out, and then they got bonuses. That makes less than no sense. When you look at the Iraq war, for example, by 2053, so when all is said and done, and when you add in all the interest that we have to pay, that war cost $7 trillion. It costs about $2 trillion as of right now. Don't tell me we can't afford universal college and universal health care when virtually every other modern nation affords it. Don't tell me that. And the thing is, like, so people say, well, I mean, you're going to have to raise taxes a lot. Who knows if we can afford those kind of high taxes? Except n not necessarily. Again, have you heard of this thing called reallocating funds? You know, instead of continuing to do massive corporate welfare checks, for these corporations that are already some of the most profitable in the world. ExxonMobil gets $4 billion every year for research and development. If you cut back on shit like that, if you cut back on pork barrel spending, if you cut back on the military industrial complex, of course we can afford it. For fuck's sake, all you have to do, shut down all of the offshore tax havens in the Cayman Islands and Bermuda and elsewhere, 
And then all of a sudden, we have more money than we know what to fucking do with. Guys, it's not... To ask for the United States to have the same basic things as other modern nations is not a lot to ask for. It's the bare minimum that we should ask for. So when you pose that question to somebody who knows what they're talking about, like Jill Stein, here's what she did. You know what that is? That's her running circles. It's her running circles around CNN.